forward, please. Thank you. I know a lot of you guys worked on specific things over the bye week, had specific things personally to get better at. What was that thing for you? Well, uh, for me, my individual plan was to really work on like some counter rushes. Um, I feel like I need, that's something I definitely developed in my game. You feel like you got a lot better at that? Yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. Did you watch football this weekend? Of course. What game did you watch? Uh, I watched the Bama game. Uh, I watched... Really, I had, cause I got uh, like infrared on in, in college. I just like, there's a, it's like an infrared on for college, so it just flip through yeah. the plays. But I, I caught all the uh, games for the most part, especially like the highlights. What time? What type of like watcher are you on a day off like that? Like, what what, what are you looking for? Or are you just sitting back and relaxing? Oh, uh, well, normally I watch like anime and stuff, but when I watch football, I, I honestly just work, uh, look at the front seven. Mm -hmm. So I watch the pass rush, watch the front seven, and I, usually I can tell how the game will go by watching that. Did you watch uh, Utah USC at all? Of course, yeah. Did for you sure. learn anything from that? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Some, definitely some things. You know when you watch you know, two teams that, especially ones on the schedule. Have you seen from UCLA's tackle 71 and 72? Confidential. Yeah, confidential <laughs> information. <laughs> Other than they'll be on the field. Though, yes. Yeah, for sure. But not, I mean, we got a good uh, rush plan coming in for the run game, pass game, so yeah, it'll be fun. What do you see from DTR that makes him kind of so effective as, as that dual threat guy? I mean, uh, Dorian's definitely good at, you know, running uh, with the ball in his hands, throwing the ball, so he'll definitely be somebody we got to tie down. This game, I'm sorry, uh, having faced guys, I mean, you faced Cameron Ward at Washington State, you faced mm. the war with Arizona, does that help at all before this, or is it so different schematically that it's almost not relevant? Yeah, definitely, like, whenever you play a running quarterback, it's, it's very similar. They, they like to, you know, something you got to account for, something you got to look out for, because that, that's definitely a dynamic to the game that you have to respect. This game has about as much buzz as you guys have seen since the Georgia game. What do you think you learned during that whole process, and pre-game, post-game, that's made you better equipped to handle this game, this, this atmosphere? Well, I, uh, my freshman year I played at Miami, we had like four big-time games. So this is not nothing that's necessarily uh, new to me, um, and really not even a team new. It's not something we pay attention to. We're really just working on getting better each week. Going off that, like, in the, in the hours and then the days following the Georgia game, what do you remember from Lanning's kind of demeanor? What do you mean? Like, what was he? What was he like after that that game? Like, what, when he came back in the locker room? Focus. And was that focus? You could definitely tell um, that it wasn't going to be something that was going to be forgotten, and we was going to use that as field of the fire going forward. And do you feel like he's accomplished yeah, that by doing for, that? For sure. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. In addition to DTR being a serious threat with his legs, they also like to run a lot of read options. Oh, next on the mm. side, off the, uh, off the edge. So yeah. It's a lot of responsibility for the front seven, particularly. Guys on the edge. So mm. How are you guys approaching that this week in preparation? It's nothing we've never seen before. Um, you just play your technique and you'll be fine. Got you. And the big stage this week, the mm. college game day coming to town, is that something you guys talk about at all behind the scenes? I mean, not really. Like I said, it's, a, uh, it's another game. You know, we get we're ready for it just like any other week. Can you feel energy fired up, though, in the locker room? Yeah, we, we, fire, we get fired up every week. It don't matter who the opponent is, man. We, somebody coming in our house, we get juice. Absolutely. So, yeah, we get juice. Thank you, I appreciate it. What is it about you guys? I think they're uh, good at doing what they do, and anytime you could do what you do better than what other people do, you probably gonna have success. You talked about improving your, mm -hmm. your counters earlier. Yeah. Is there any specifics in that, or is that also confidential? Yeah, confidential information. <laughs> yeah. We'll show you. You gonna see though. We'll show you. What's um in, in, in past versus Tosh Blue play has yeah. been known as somebody who is, is excellent at teaching them. Just what has that relationship been like with you and Tosh? And, and those uh, maybe one-on-one -on -one scenarios. Mm. Like I feel like you do, definitely do a good job at like, even though it's a group setting, you almost feel like that, you know, that personal, intimate uh, relationship when he's, you know, coaching you, he's coaching you. Uh, each person he coaches based on how, what their abilities are. And I feel like that is definitely like one of the most optimal ways to coach. And we, we respond to that very well. Thanks, DJ. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you sir.